In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about the Masonovic CDM65 studio monitors. We'll go over how to set up the stereo hub, how to pair your speakers, the features of the Masonovic iOS app, and how to change the tunings of your speakers. If you plan on using the CDM65s with their analog XLR input, you can skip over most of this video and head to the section where we show you how to change the tuning of the speakers. It's important to note that the automatic room correction and manual EQ found in the Masonovic app can only be used with the speakers when using the stereo hub. The DSP processing for these features lives on the stereo hub and it is separate from the speakers themselves, which means they can only be accessed when using wireless transmission to the speakers. These features are not available when using the XLR input. To begin setup of the stereo hub, start by mounting the provided Wi-Fi antenna to the rear. Put the stereo hub in the location nearby your other audio equipment you plan on connecting to it, and with a good range of your Wi-Fi router to ensure a strong signal. We recommend keeping a minimum distance of 9 feet from other wireless equipment to avoid any disturbances. On the rear of the stereo hub you will see various inputs ranging from HDMI, optical, and USB audio. Once you've connected your audio equipment to the hub, it's time to power it up for the first time. Using the provided power adapter, connect it to the rear power inlet. Once turned on, you'll notice the front Wi-Fi LED slowly blinking. Wait until the front LED is rapidly blinking. This rapid blinking indicates that the unit is ready to be set up with your network. Please note, it may take a few minutes for the front Wi-Fi LED to start rapidly blinking. The next step is to download the Google Home app onto your iOS or Android device. If you do not have access to this app, you can also connect to the Stereo Hub following another procedure outlined in our manual. The following screen recording shows the step-by-step -step process you will follow in the Google Home app to set up the Stereo Hub. Please make sure to set up the Stereo Hub on the same network as your iOS or Android device. When you finish setting up the stereo hub within the Google Home app, click the settings icon and make sure that the full dynamic range mode is enabled. Once you've completed the setup within the Google Home app, you will see that the front LED is now a solid white. It is now time to pair the included remote with the stereo hub. This can be done using the Masonovic app, which we'll go over later in this video, or it can be done using the following procedure. Press and hold the pairing button on the rear of the stereo hub for around 3 to 4 seconds until the rear LED starts to blink. Now, press any button on the remote. When paired, you will see that the LED on the rear panel has stopped flashing. When you now push any button on the remote, the LED on the rear will blink. This confirms that the pairing was successful. To pair your speakers to the stereo hub, start by pressing and holding the rear pairing button on the amplifier plate for 3 seconds. You'll notice that the wireless LED will start to flash. Do this on both speakers. Once you've enabled pairing mode on both speakers, go to your stereo hub and press the rear button on the hub. Only press the button, but do not hold it. After pressing the button, you'll notice that the WISA LED will start to flash. 
This means that the stereo hub is trying to pair itself with the speakers. Once paired, the rear LED will become solid. The wireless LED on the amplifier plates will also become a solid color, indicating that the speakers have been successfully paired to the stereo hub. Your speakers can also be paired to the stereo hub using the Masonovic app, which we'll cover later in this video. To set your speakers to the correct left and right channels, open up the Masonovic app. Here you'll see that both of the speakers are either set to the left or right channel. Click on the speaker icon and click one of the speakers. You'll hear pink noise coming out the speaker that you've clicked on. You can then hold and drag the speaker to the desired left or right channel. If you do not have access to the Masonovic iOS app, follow this procedure to set the correct left and right channels for your setup. On the rear of the stereo hub, press the pairing button rapidly three times. Once you've done this, you'll notice pink noise coming from either the left or right speaker. If noise is coming from the left speaker, hit the bottom left arrows. Next, using the central keypad, hit the right arrow. Noise will now be coming from the right speaker. Proceed by hitting the lower right arrows. Once you've done this, hit the power button. Your speakers are now set to the correct left and right channels. To ensure that you've set the channels correctly, go to the rear of the speakers and on the amplifier plates, you'll notice that the LEDs are assigned to either the left or right speaker. If you haven't done so already, download the Masonovic app from the Apple App Store. Within the app, you'll notice the ability to do automatic room correction or manual EQ. For automatic room correction, follow the procedure as instructed within the app. You'll be asked to set the low frequency cutoff, which we recommend to be set at 35 Hz. Allow the app to use the microphone of your device, as this will be used for the room measurement. If you'd like to manually adjust the speakers, you can use the manual EQ mode. The following screen recording shows examples of how to set up different filters within the manual EQ mode. You can have up to three different presets within this feature. The room EQ or manual EQ can both be active, one be active, or neither be active. To turn them on and off, just click the lower circles. When clicking the settings icon within the app, you will be brought to this screen. Here, you can do the remote pairing, WESA pairing of your speakers, setting the max volume, and checking for updates or performing a factory reset.
Next, we'll look at how to change the tuning of your speaker. To begin, make sure that the speaker is turned off. Go to the Masonovic website and download the desired tuning you'd like to upload to the speakers. Make sure that this tuning is the only tuning that's on your thumb drive and make sure there are no other files on your drive. The USB drive should also be in a FAT32 format. Feel free to use the USB drive provided with the speaker or one of your own. Start by inserting the USB drive into the rear USB port on the amplifier plate. Next, turn on the speaker. Once you've turned the speaker on, you'll notice that the LEDs rotate once in a circle. A complete rotation indicates that the tuning has been successfully uploaded to the speaker. Remove the thumb drive and repeat this process on the next speaker. If you have any other questions about setting up the Masonovic CDM65 studio monitors or the stereo hub, please refer to our website where you can download a full user manual. If you still have questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We can be reached via email or phone and our contact info can also be found on the Masonovic website.